systems for IRS is according to the obtained result the, 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 the goal of the system is trying to maximize the total utility over the whole interaction period. The system get paid if the uh, recommended app has been downloaded by the user. However, uh, if we optimize the conversion rate solely, we result in the fairness issues, one of which is the unfair allocation of the desired activities over different demographic groups. As we mentioned before, the desired activities uh, is closely related to the system's revenues and income. So we would like to make a fair treatment or fair allocation of these desired activities over different demogra demographic groups. If we cannot do that, then the majority group may dominate the rec recommendation and thereby holding the majority of the <laughs> thereby holding the majority of the resources. Uh, Hide floating. Oh, great. While the while the minority groups may uh, fail to maybe underrepresented or uh, or even ignored by the recommender systems. So, 
So ensuring a fair allocation has the following two benefits. From the legal aspects, in some specific recommendation scenarios like uh, employment, education, housing, or public accommodation, the fair allocation is actually mandated. Uh, and a fair treatment with respect to race, color, religion, etc., is required by the anti-discrimination laws. And from the financial perspective, um, the, to ensure fair allocation can uh, benefit the system's long-term uh, development, or in other words, underrepresenting for some group can lead to the abandonment of the system. The user may feel uh, underrepresented and maybe leave the system for good. Uh, while the fairness concern is actually quite challenging due to the fairness and the rec 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 recommendation accuracy are generally conflicting goals. To, uh, to achieve ideal fairness, we could simply uh, divide the recommendation opportunities equally to each demo demographic group. While the user's will, user satisfaction will be affected as they are uh, displayed or presented with some unattractive atoms. Well, uh, the ma major task for recommender system is to ensure uh, that we can estimate the user's preferences accurately, uh, or in this work, we try to maximize the conversion rate. And the existing work has been demonstrated that they uh, tend to favor popular atoms and usually leads to extremely unbalanced recommendation results. So in this work, we try to answer the following question. Can we achieve a fairer recommendation while preserving recommendation accuracy? And uh, uh, unlike the existing work, we find that uh, we can try to focus on improving accuracy for users with particular favors, while the lack of fairness at one time can later be compensated uh, when we try to recommend uh, users with diversified interest, that to say we can, uh, the, the system, the IRIs, try to optimize the long-term cumulative utility so we could find a way to balance it over time. And this is the main contribution of this work. We're, uh, we're the first one to, uh, to, benefit, to, to try to optimize the long-term uh, fairness and accuracy rather than to ensure the any time fairness as in existing work. And another thing to be noticed is that existing work only consider the allocation of uh, the number of recommendations or exposure or impression. And in this work, we try to um, try to uh, ensure fair, fair allocation of the desired activities because the distribution of the desired activity has much larger commercial value and can be directly converted into revenue. So to solve the aforementioned uh, problem in this work, we propose a fairness aware recommendation uh, framework with reinforcement learning, we call it FairRec. So when a user U arrives at time step T, uh, our system observes the current state which uh, includes both the user's current preference state, which is user's and most recent positively interacted atoms, and also the fairness state, which is the current allocation distribution of the desired activities, xt, at time t. And the system takes an action at and recommends an atom to the user. Then the user views the recommended atom and, rec and, provide, and provide feedback y at. The system then receives a reward RT, which is a function of YAT, and updates the model. The object function is the long-term discounted reward, uh, which is the sum of the uh, return from discounted return from time t onward. And in this work, we adopted a, a well-accepted and well-justified uh, well fairness metric called weighted proportional fairness. And it is defined in this definition one, which is the uh, generalized Nash solution for multiple groups. Here, the WI is the predef predefined parameter weighing the importance of each group. And this YXI is the current allocation distribution. It is a uh, L-dimensional vector if we have L different atom groups. 
this optimization problem can be easily solved by the uh, a uh, standard Lagrangian multiplier method. And uh, the optimal solution X star is proportional to the uh, predefined uh, parameter Wi. Uh, and our FARAC adopts a actor critic archit architecture, which composed of a actor network and a critic network. The actor network encodes both the current uh, personalized fairness uh, includes both the uh, user preferences and the system's fairness status uh, as the uh, state representation. And uh, the actor outputs, the, uh, the outputs of the actor network is the uh, a ranking strategy vector Z, which is a continuous lower dimensional uh, vector, try to narrow down the large action space uh, in the recommender systems. And we compute the uh, multiplication of the atom embedding E with the ranking uh, strategy vector EZ to, to output the final ranking score. The, uh, the atom with the highest ranking score is selected and recommended to the user. Um, and the, the critic network evaluates the value of the output of the actor. The actor network is trained by the uh, value produced by the critic, while the critic network is trained uh, with the uh, reward. Our reward function uh, measures the system scan regarding both accuracy and fairness. Uh, here is our definition of the reward function. Uh, it looks quite complicated, but actually it's quite straightforward. Because um, uh, only the user desired activity could affect the fair, fairness metric. So we simply give a negative reward if yat equals to one, meaning the user uh, is feels unsatisfied with the recommended atom. Well, if y y t equals to one, meaning that the user performing the uh, desired activity, we then compute the fairness indicator, which is the deviation from the optimal solution x star i minus x t i here, i is the uh, current item group. So the reward will be uh, positive if the current uh, group i is underrepresented and need more promotion. Well, otherwise, it would be a negative reward, meaning that the the current atom group is already overrepresented and need to focus on some other currently underrepresented group. Here's our experiment. We conduct experiments on a synthetic data set, MovieLens, and a real world data set, Kiva. Kiva is a uh, micro lending uh, website and they have a stated mission of equalizing the uh, chance of get funded from different uh, different regions. For example, a borrowers from India can have the same rate of be, to be funded as the borrower from the US. So uh, here we the evaluation metric will adopt the conversion rate, prop, uh, proportional fairness metric. And the, we also propose a metric that combines these two, which is called UFG. The higher, the better. So we compare with the both the bandit algorithm and existing RL-based methods. Uh, these are some uh, deep learning-based method, DeepFM. And our proposed method, FairRack, has the largest conversion rate as well as the uh, the best fairness. Uh, so, and we also conduct ablation study to get to, to show that our fair rack, a different component of fair rack can together use the best results. So to sum up, we, in this work, we formulate a, fo a fairness objective for IRS. And this is the first work that to optimize the long-term cumulative fairness. And we propose a reinforcement learning based, based framework fair rack to dynamically maintain a balance between accuracy and fairness in IRS. Exper experiments show that FAIR can achieve a better balance between accuracy and fairness compared to the SOTA methods. Okay, that's all. Thanks for listening and happy to take any questions.